Joe Biden is focused on two real um, challenges right now. One is addressing the health crisis in America, and the other is addressing the economic crisis. And as long as those are at the top of his list, foreign policy and his foreign policy agenda will take a bit of a second place to that. He's got a very, very experienced and an excellent team coming in to manage the foreign policy side of things, and they will hit the ground running. Um, led by Tony Blinken and Jake Sullivan at the National Security Council. But, you know, the president himself and the vice president, their focus is going to be on trying to rebuild America's economy and get the country healthy again. What do you think is going to be the hardest task for Joe Biden in his first 100 days in office? The, The biggest challenge for Joe Biden is going to be trying to convince Republicans to work with him and trying to divide trying to unite a country that has been so divided over the last four years. And because the Democrats have such a you know, narrow majority in the Senate and a narrow majority in the, in the House, um, it, you know, it's great for them that they control the House and the Senate, um, but it's very, very close. And they're going to need the Republicans who are willing to work with the president and his team to, to pass his legislative agenda. And I, I'm not so sure. I'm not very optimistic about that. And the last time we had a similar situation – it, when Mitch McConnell was the Senate Majority Leader and President Obama was president, um, the Republicans really made it their goal to block everything the president was trying to accomplish. And um, my sense so far is that they're going to go down that same path. So Joe Biden's going to rely very heavily on the executive orders um, to get things done. And he will try to get things done in the Senate um, using budget reconciliation, which only requires 51 votes. But any legislation that requires 60 votes to pass Um, will be really hard to accomplish. Well, one other thing that people are watching out for are uh, the uh, impeachment hearings, and uh, that is expected to happen with the new Senate. We're going to get a a, a hearing of the new Senate uh, in the next week or so. How likely is it, do you think, that President Trump does eventually end up getting convicted, particularly as just in the last couple of days, uh, the tune and the tone out of Mitch McConnell has changed? Well, you're, you're right that McConnell's tone has changed. I, I still don't think that they're going to find enough Republicans to convict the president. You would have to have 17 Republicans willing to sign on with the Democrats to convict the former president. Um, it, it, it is going to be a big distraction, I think, to the Senate and to President Biden as he tries to get his agenda passed quickly. Um, but it is, you know, it is going to happen, and Nancy Pelosi will one of these days send the articles of impeachment up to the Senate, and then the Senate has no choice but to take it up. And I think the president, um, the incoming president's hope will be that the Senate can can manage, you know, can walk and chew gum at the same time so they can work on legislation, but also um, manage the impeachment process and and hopefully do so fairly quickly to put it behind them. And I think there are, um, you know, in some ways it it works to the Democrats' advantage to have Donald Trump um, still be a player in Republican politics because it keeps that the Republican Party divided. Um, which is a you know benefit to the Democrats. So I'm not so sure that a lot of Democrats wouldn't be sad to see um, the impeachment conviction fail in the Senate. 